This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Let's take a crack at the new kit on the block. And that's the mixer brush tool. We're going to come over here and we're going to select that button and go down to the mixer brush tool. We are covering this tool in much more detail in our intermediate Photoshop series, but it's here. Let's take a stab at it. Number one, it will work with your painting color down here, whatever that happens to be. We'll leave it at black for now. We can change and we need to change the brush on this one. This tool works best as an artistic tool using more artistic type of brushes than round brushes. We do have a whole set down here, as you can see them. We could choose one of these if we want to. As a matter of fact, let's pick up this one right here. This button right here allows me to clean the brush or load the brush right now. It's a one-off thing. And these buttons allow me to load the brush every time I use it with a color or clean the brush every time I use it with a color or load and clean the brush every time I use it. For this demo, I'm just going to say clean the brush. We do have options over here. Dry, and these are presets in moist and wet and very wet, light mix, etc. They control and influence these buttons over here. So let's talk about these. What's wet? Wet actually is how wet the canvas is, not how wet your brush is. If we take wet to zero, that means you can't change the colors. They're dry, they're locked onto that canvas. But as an artist, a lot of times I will use wet canvases and mix colors while I'm painting. That's what wet means. Zero means you're locked in. You came back the next day, you started painting, it was dry. Load is how much color you load onto your brush, and mix is how they both mix together. Flow basically is how aggressive it is once you've done it. So we take flow, say, to 100%. We'll leave load at 11, and we'll leave wet at zero. We'll come over here. Now I'm using a drawing tablet. See this little icon right here? Basically, what that allows me to do is watch the control of my drawing tablet and my brush against the tablet. You don't have to use a drawing tablet, but they do help. And that's kind of telling me what I'm doing and the angle of my brush as I use it. If I come over here and begin painting on the screen, you will notice really nothing is happening. Why? Because I'm telling the computer to clean the brush. Don't load any color on it. The canvas is dry, so it can't change anything. So I'm loading nothing, really. Let's do this. Let's change our wet to about, oh, 10%. Now we come back down here again. Again, I'm using a clean brush. But as I do, I can begin moving things because I am indeed working with a wet canvas, even though I'm using a clean brush. If I come over here on her hat, you'll notice I will begin to pull the paint off of her hat. And the more I do that, the more aggressive I'm going to be. The wetter the canvas, the more I'll be able to move that paint. If I decide to use a color by clicking here, which would be this color down here, then this load will work. And of course, load will be how much paint I mix or load onto that brush. The mix is how the two occur. So since I'm not using any color, I'm just mixing what's on the screen, mix doesn't really do much. Because I'm not mixing, I'm using a clean brush. And of course, flow, let me go ahead and take that down to, well, like zero. Actually, one is as low as you can go. And you can see very little. It's hard to tell, but something is happening. You just have to keep going over it before you can actually see it. The more flow, the more aggressive. It's an interesting tool to work with. And again, we're just kind of playing around. This is not an art class. So what I want to do is I'm going to stop through the miracle of using a computer. Let me go ahead and reset this image and play with it a little bit and show you what took me or what's going to take me probably about 15 or 20 minutes. So hold on and you can look at the final result. All right, you ready for this? It took me about 15 or 20 minutes to do it. You really don't need experience as a painter. Small brushes, small techniques, a little at a time. And I've got it here in another layer. Take a look at the difference. Looks more painted, like a watercolor. And again, you can get much more aggressive than that if you want to. It's new. 
have some fun with it, give it a try. Small brushes, small strokes can achieve some pretty cool effects, even if you are not a painter.